B. I'm going to show a way to actually probe the stress at a, at a point that is not an obvious point, like a minimum, or a point that is, that is not a node, uh, but uh, that can be independent of, uh, of the mesh. So that's the ultimate in, uh, in flexibility. So it is possible to, uh, to insert coordinate system, to create a new coordinate system, that can be quite uh, quite useful. You can uh, you can generate, and we could possibly generate a point at a certain uh, position. The issue I have got is that I have not found a way to when I insert a sizing mesh. I need some somewhere to actually some geometry. I have tried with uh, name selections, and that doesn't seem uh, seem to work. Uh, so there need to do be a pre-processing in. Uh, Design modeler to actually create a place for, to uh, to select a place to, for the for the point of interest, so that we can ap uh, apply a, a, a sizing mesh for refinement. On the other hand, if you just want to, if you don't want to create uh, to use that point as a center for for curious meshing, it is absolutely possible to uh, to insert to to create that coordinate system. And let's uh, choose that point here. Sorry, uh, select key to change, apply. So we should have that point here, and it's at 10 mm. Or I can, alternately, I could define it by pure geometry, global coordinates, and say 11. Let's say I want to look at 1 millimeter from, from that, from the, uh, from the corner. So I could define that, I could give it a new name. Um, function f2 and allow POS point of in POI point of interest and then if I could insert in solution I could insert a probe a probe that is pro a probe stress probe stress and that probe stress that probe stress uh, I can obtain from a coordinate system in the coordinate system that I have as a new one, I can choose a POI that I just defined, and then automatically, well, let's uh, let's do a quick calculation. Let's uh, let's solve it, and automatically, hmm, I must have made a small mistake. My probe stress. Constant location. Hmm. I'm not very sure. P boy, let's try that. Now this is better, and get my probe. That's right. I made a small mistake. There. And I get the value automatically at that point. Uh, I think I inserted one that gives me the um, the value in a x, y, and z. So that is interesting in itself, but that's not quite enough for what I want to do because I want also to be able to refine the stress exactly at that center. So in order to do that, I mean, that could work. I mean, it's not a massive deal. I could uh, I could put my refinement at the corner and that would work perfectly well. Actually, let's do that. Let's do that. So let's add a mesh sizing. Mesh sizing. Um, selection. Let me select that point there. If it doesn't allow me to select, you can always go and change the uh, selector, different types. So I want uh, the node, the node, and if I sphere radius, I want obviously to cover the point one millimeter. I want to be too big. Let's say pff, I don't know, uh, say ten millimeter. That's fine. And the element size, that seems good enough. And the element size, well, I will start with an element size of, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say, two, two millimeter. Okay, that's fine. I could regenerate, update my mesh. Of course, need to calculate, calculate things for the rest. So let's solve. No, I didn't check the mesh, what it looked like, but I'm sure it's nice. Excellent, so let's check uh, Let's check the mesh. Yeah, okay, so nice. Uh, stress probe 
when my stress probe is here and is getting a certain value, I want the x. Now, okay, that is absolutely fine, but the real beauty, the real beauty lies in parameters. Now, what I can do is I can say, right, I want to, that vertex sizing here, I want to be able to modify it. So you see these little boxes, eh, these little tick boxes? Never click on them unless you really want to. All right, so if you click on them, it gives you a P for parameter. So I select it, and that will allow me to drive it later. And I will also go in my stress probe and say, I want a parameter, I want, I want, I want the normal X axis. I want you to, uh, to give me that value. Okay. As a parameter, not all of it. There are many, many other things that can be uh, parameterized. If I click on mesh and in statistics, I want the number of nodes and elements as well. And that, so that's quite a lot of parameters. That is creating me something interesting because if you go in Workbench, you can see now that we have got a parameter set or parameter bus, sometimes it's called. So we could double click on it give you the design, the list of design points. That I've got a month. I'll create a new one and I'm going to create a new one at one millimeter. I drive it like that and 0 0.5. And again, half of that 0 0.25. Now what I'm doing here is totally gratuitous. I would never need to do it in real life for that specific uh, square hole because I, we know it's a singularity Pointers, but let's assume that there was a meaningful defeatured defeatured uh, uh, part of a real part and we needed to the, the maximum stress was around it we need to know it and we need to do it okay so i have created a list of parameters and i can tell the computer okay go update all of them calculate them so it's going to calculate that yeah it's going to close uh, mechanical very likely when it does that and mechanical is running in the background we don't need to uh, to, to, to do any clicks anymore and it will create do that uh, if you want that convergence study for us automatically. So it takes a bit of time, especially for the other points. So auto, it obviously does the meshing first, so it can give us some info on the meshing before it can actually calculate calculate the, the stress. And I'm letting it do it. So is it going to converge? That's the question. Is it calculating? So I'm going to pause. Uh, for the moment, and we can we come back when it's fit on. After uh, maybe a minute and a half, it uh, less than that, it has calculated calculated all all the values, and I can see that uh, the maximum normal stress uh, has actually uh, essentially converged uh, around 182 points. So exactly at the tip, it would diverge to stupid values, but in the vicinity, it uh, it does work. Now, if I want to observe that, I need to Mm -hmm. I want to actually select, make that, uh, to retain that value. So I click retain, and then set as the current. Because I will want to be able, when I go back to mechanical, to, uh, to, observe, to observe this. And fortunately, it needs to recalculate, I think. So I'm going to update. I don't know. Let's double check. So let's. I don't want to calculate to spend waste time again on that. So I exit parameter set and go to model, and we'll see if it uh, if it needs to be recalculated. But it will save us of time if we don't need to recalculate everything. So it's going to mechanical, mechanical, and indeed it has got the latest version, but it needs to be uh, to be resolved. So let's update the mesh first. Just. Double check. Do some sort of mesh. Oh yes, it's a very fine mesh indeed. Very very fine mesh indeed. And now we need to solve finally. Well, we know the value to it. It does it, but just just to have the to, to have it in in here. So there might be a way to avoid doing the calculation twice. I'm not entirely sure. It's not that long anyway. Okay, and we have got our stress probe. The value we had around 182. And I can still add. Uh, no, we can't add the maximum in the probe. So I need to go into x and the max is at the max is at 47 as we know full well not very good 
diver st diverging already quite a lot. But I've added a probe that I can actually control through the parameter bus, parameter set, and that's that complete freedom really. Okay, so I hope you find that uh, you found that uh, helpful. We are going to use uh, parameters and the parameter uh, bus much much more later because. And sys can actually use it to do some optimization as well, which is exceedingly powerful. But that's another story, and I think we do that in week five. Okay, thank you very much, and as usual, any queries, please use the forum. Bye!